it up and you see me. Okay, so we're going to use the slab roller, I'm going over the slab roller again just in case. So we have a four pound piece of clay, it's already been wedged, it's kind of cubed. I want to pre-flatten it before I put it in the slab roller. So when I throw it down, I'm not just throwing it straight down, but I'm pulling it towards me. I grab it opposite of me, I flip it, and then I pull it towards me. And the bottom, the back end hits first, and then the front end kind of catches up, and it starts to stretch, okay? So I pick it up opposite of me, flip it, stretch it. Opposite, pick up, flip, stretch, okay? So it's now stretched. Then I come over here to the slab roller, and I pick up the canvas so that I can make my sandwich, and now I have all the boards in, okay, all the boards are in. I put the slab like this, tall to the wall, okay, and I make sure it's a hand distance away from the rolling pin, and I make a sandwich, canvas, clay, canvas, that's my sandwich, right, got to have, the this, this canvas is your bread, and the clay is your like meat, bacon, uh, bacon, lettuce, and tomato, maybe, I don't know, who likes bacon, lettuce, and tomato in here? Okay, so then you roll it, and it's opposite of what you think. So you always, if you want it to go this way, you roll it the opposite way, and it goes, goes the way you want it to go, right? Okay, so now I've rolled out my slab. Then I pull up my sandwich, the canvas, and I'm ready to pick this up, and I'm going to move over to this table. So now you can hit the red button.